And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today we're taking a look at Gamsch Alpin. This is a game which is kind of based on spoons. You know, you're trying to get four of the same thing and do it before other people do. But you also have a partner with Secret Signal and you're trying to you know, figure out when your opponent has something. I, I, this has been done before in various games. This one is a, a shorter one with a couple extra special cards. Let's take a look. So the goal of this game is to get nine points for your team or have the most points. When, once a team scores nine points, the game is over. And these cubes are used to keep points. Players are going to be split into pairs. So you can have up to six players playing this game if you want to. You and your partner have to come up with some sort of secret signal. It could be a physical gesture. It could be um, coughing. It could be scratching your head. It could be uh, you saying a word that starts with the letter Z. It could be you talking about the, the best team in baseball, the Blue Jays, whatever it might be. So once players have their teammates, each player is going to take this deck and they're going to get shuffled and they're going to be given four cards from this deck. Now the cards are going to show various things. You can see here uh, a peacock, a gravesite, uh, some animals, there's a, a rescue dog. And your goal is to get four cards of the same type. Now there are four, these are four, one is a nighttime card, but the other three are daytime card, but they're all the same. So once you have your four cards, the round begins. So four cards are placed in the middle of the table and then simultaneously all the players are going to sit there and change cards with the middle. And I'm sitting here going, well, I'm, all right, I guess I'll get rid of this cow and take the rescue dog. And I'm pretty much done there. Once everyone is finished, these cards will be wiped away and you'll put four more cards out there. You can even pick up a card that you put down previously. Like I might go, oh, maybe I should have been not collecting dogs. Maybe I should be collecting peacocks. I'm not sure. Here, I'll collect both of them. And you're going to keep going until you get four of the same type. When you have four of the same type, you don't say anything. You have to give the secret signal to your partner, and then they shout Gamsh, and if they do, you get one point. If you both have four of the same card, it's double Gamsh, and you both and you get two points, although I've never seen that happen. However, if someone else thinks you have it, they can say Counter Gamsh, in which case you're like, yeah, you're right. They might have seen the secret signal or figured it out, in which case that team will get a point rather than you guys. When it happens... You reshuffle and start over again. If you figure out your opponent's signal, you can say, I know what your signal is. You accuse them and you get three points and then they have to pick a new signal um, before the game can continue. There's also some special cards in the game that when they show up, different things will happen. When the watchful game keeper comes up, he doesn't allow people to grab night cards. So if you grab a night card, you will give the other team a point. So be careful while he's out on the board. When a bull comes up, he just wipes the four cards and four new cards come up. When the smart farmer comes up, you only need three cards to call Gamsh or double Gamsh. Um, and you just have to slap him and say Gamsh and your opponent has the three cards he needs. And when lunch comes up, so let's say lunch comes up and there's four cards on the table. Everybody has to hit one of the cards that's not lunch. And the person who does not is the other team gets a point. So... You're just going to keep going. That's it. The game's kind of silly, fast, loud, and the first per once one person gets nine points, the game ends, and whoever has the most points is the winner. <laughs> These games of collecting four things work sometimes in different situations. Sometimes uh, I, I don't like them. Sometimes I do. It's a kind of a fine line. This one floats onto the side of I do like it. There's a couple reasons. One, I like the special cards because you need to remember what they are. But I like the whole secret signal thing. Now you gotta play with, you gotta be careful when you play with people with rules lawyer, because that I, the rules say don't have a complicated thing, but they also don't say things like touch the side of your nose. And then you say you see someone doing it, and you're like, oh, it's touch your nose, and they're like, nope. Well, what was it? It was touch the side of your nose. It's like, no, no, we caught it. It was touch your nose. You know what I mean? You have to be careful if you're playing with somebody who is that. Oh, I'm a gamer, and this will be exactly worded. But that is fun with that signal because you're listening to everything they do. And you can make up fake signals too. So I would cough a lot. People are like, is, is coughing the signal? So that part is fun. 
be and and trying to guess the signal almost can kind of push away the rest of the game but you're putting cards down people are grabbing them fast and when you get it you know usually in these speed games you get it you're like done but you can't you just have to stop and then meaningfully give your signal to your partner although the other people are watching you too so you could also not even try that hard and just sit back and watch the other people so it's a crazy game at four it's a crazy game at six it's a silly little game that comes in a box. It's not a game you're going to want to play all the time. And it's not a game you're going to want to play with really serious people because that whole uh, what exactly are the rules, they'll, they'll mess that up. You know, the signals back and forth. But other than that, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed trying to collect the cards. I enjoyed yelling. Um, Gamsh is not a word that comes naturally to the English language. But the whole thing is pretty fun. So that's Gamsh Alpen. Dice Tower Judgment approved. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door. Boop. Boop.